Hello everyone, welcome to A Relationship with God Ministry. It's your boy Gumbo the Servant. I'm here to serve you, encourage you, and motivate you to chase your dream, to follow God, and take care of your family. Today we're going to get into the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 27 through 31. First, I'd like to walk into Lazarus Network. It's a place where you chase your dream, a place where dreams get unfold, dreams get manifested. Dreams get told. People share the stories in this building. So welcome, welcome. We're going to get into the, the book of Luke. It talks about Jesus. This is the upbringing of Jesus. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you pick up the word of God, if you read the book of Matthew, Luke, John, Mark, it talks about Jesus. It talks about the birth of Jesus, and, uh, the beginning of Jesus. And for those who don't know, who is Jesus? Jesus is the son of God. Jesus is God from the true the, the tr uh, Trinity, the Holy Spirit, the Son, and the Father. Jesus is that Son. But we also is part of that Trinity because we, we have the Holy Spirit inside of us. When Jesus left, he left us the Holy Spirit. So we're going to get into the book of Luke chapter 6. We're going to start off with verse 27 to 28. The Bible verse of the day. Luke chapter 6 verse 27 to 28. But I say to you who are listening, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who are cruel to you. That Bible verse is a very powerful verse. This is Jesus talking to us, telling us. To forgive our enemies. Love our enemies. Treat those who treat us wrong good. No matter what they do to us. No matter what they say to us. I encourage you guys out there, man. Love your enemies. A lot of the reason why we don't receive our blessings is because we're holding on to grudges. Unforgiveness from those who've harmed us or say words to us in the past. It's 2020. I know a lot of y'all ain't getting any younger as myself. So I think it's about time that we forgive our enemies. Forgive those who've done us wrong. Forgive those who are going to do us wrong in the future. Because you don't just forgive people in the past. You also got to forgive people in the present and fe people in the future. Because just, just because somebody did you wrong now doesn't mean someone yeah. else ain't going to come. Because we are humans. Some people come in your life. For a reason. Some people come in your life for a season. Some people come in your life just to be a lesson. And some people come in your life to stay forever. But you got to have a heart to love your enemies. What good is it to just love those who love you? Because if you're just walking around loving those who love you, what love is that? That's no that's not enough. You gotta love your enemies. And the 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 greatest weapon I believe personally to you know as far as revenge goes towards your enemies is to love them. To treat them good. If you if your enemies need help, give help them. If your enemies need money, money, give them. If your enemies need food, feed them. If your enemies need a drink, give them some cold water. Why? Why is that? Why should we forgive our enemies? Because Jesus Christ forgave us. Oh yes. Jesus Christ died on that cross and still forgave us. I know most of you saying, I wasn't there. I didn't kill Jesus. I, your ancestors was. Your grandparents was. Those who birthed you in the ancient time, they was there. They was there. Oh yeah. Think about it. See, y'all, y'all, y'all can't forget this. Life is all about spirit. We all human beings. We got spirits from the past. When one person died, you know what happened to his you know what happened to him? His spirit rises out of his body and goes on to the next generation. Why you think if your grandpa was killing and murdering everybody in the past and then he died? And now you got the spirit of killing and murdering everybody. Well, what do you think that comes from? 
that come from his spirit. He died, but his spirit never died because life is about eternity. It's all the either you're gonna become an angel or you're gonna become a demon. You're gonna follow God or you're gonna follow the devil. Is your choice. Is your choice. And that's what life is all about. Is a choice. Who do you want to follow? God or the devil? The blue pill or the red pill? That's what life is all about. It's all about decisions and choices. Don't, don't ever feel like somebody forcing you to do anything. Don't ever feel like somebody's making you to do anything in life. Because can't nobody make you do nothing. You have a choice to be who you want to be in life. You have a choice who you want to be around in your life. You have that choice. Practice your choices and your decisions. Maybe your life might get better. See, most people want to blame others. Most of us want to blame others and depend on others so when things go wrong, we can point fingers. Point fingers at the bad guys. And it ain't about that. It's about you. You making that decision. Who do you want to, who do you want around in your life? What kind of career do you want? What do you see yourself in five, ten years? Do you see yourself slaving for somebody? Being yelled at, being told what to do? For a check? Or do you see yourself being a boss of your own company? Or do you see yourself serving others, helping the needy, helping the poor for the rest of your life? It's all about choices. Just because you see a homeless person in the street, if you don't help them, you know why you didn't help them? Because you made that choice. You made that choice. The homeless person didn't make you not help them. <laughs> encourage you to help <laughs> and anybody that don't got it. To help anybody that don't got it and ask you for help, help them. Whether your enemies or your loved one, help them. But you made a choice not to help that homeless man in the street that you seen begging you for a dollar. You got a job. You get paid 500 600 every two weeks or one or every week. And you can't give somebody a dollar? What type of lifestyle are you living? And it's 2020? That's the type of lifestyle we live in? We live in a lifestyle where we can't help others? Who, 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 who raising us? I'm going to include myself in that because I can't just point fingers like, oh, you the one that's doing it. You the bad guy. Nah. Who's raising us? Who's really raising us? And that's the thing that goes back to saying, are you going to allow God to raise you or are you going to allow the devil to raise you? Because when you allow the devil to raise you, you're going to be that guy passing every homeless man in the street when they ask you for a dollar. You're going to be that guy because that's the devil. But when you allow God to raise you, you're going to be that guy when a homeless man asks you for 25 cents, you give straight up $20. Why? Because you have a good heart. And ain't anybody just a good heart. You have God in you. You have the Holy Spirit in you. You got to practice using your Holy Spirit, man. Women and men, all ladies and males out there, practice using your Holy Spirit. And I believe if we all do that, this world will be in a better place. People forget that they have the Spirit inside of them. Practice that. I'll see you next time. Right here on A Relationship with God Ministry. It's your boy Gumbo the Servant. I'm here to serve you. I'm here to serve you, man. I love you. God loves you too. Thank you for watching.